Hello everyone, so someone on my channel requested, or didn't request, but said that they would like um, a Tage tour. That was Francie22, um, and I thought as um, I didn't have any other specific videos to do at the moment, that um, I'd do a Tage tour. I was planning on doing Tage tours once we had designed the new cage, because we're sort of thinking that we might need a new cage for the pits, one with cubes and that sort of stuff. Um, so, um, I was planning on doing Tage tours then, but I thought I might as well do it now and then do an update Tage tour when I get the new pen. There's Joshy popped on it. Okay, everybody, so we'll start at like the measurements of the cage. So, instead of using tubes, I just use um, chloroplast. It's 6mm thick, I think. Um, still quite bendy though. And it's 11 inches high, um, all the way around. Um, I am using the white colour, but maybe on the next page I'll use another. Don't know. So that's sort of the wall measurements all the way around. And then here at the side, we've got I have Beware of the Danny Pid. Um, so that, I think that looks really cute. And that's on there. So I'll definitely have that on the, um, at the cage. Yeah, that looks really cute. Um, um, at the back and at the sides, you might have noticed that we don't have just plain wall. Um, if you don't know what um, that's for, it's because my junipers love to burrow. But the thing is, when they burrow, they just they don't just go under the fleece, but they tip all their toys over, get hay everywhere, um, mess everything up, and it does take a while to get back to normal. So um, we just put parts of their old playpen that I don't use anymore, and then we cut out special like. Um, special size turrets at the sides because um, of the way my fleece is, you'll see um, after, um, later, you will see that they can burrow down that side as well, as well as that side and then the corners. So we have a turret board there, the pen, and then another turret board. Um, my, my cage um, fleece we have a fleece blanket here for the first bit um, and we sort of tuck it under there under the pen so that they can't burrow under it um, sorry I've got a child I burrow it under there and, but instead of cutting the fleece and then um, worrying it about worrying about it being um, like um, frayed we use these sort of colourful clothes pads and we sort of stuck it up the side so it's better than cutting the fleece um, because um, you don't have the problem of it being frayed I don't know how likely that problem is but we decided to pin it up and it's worked so far the pads also make it look more colourful so we have our fleece um, up this side, up that side, and then we don't have it up those two sides. We just have it tucked down to the boards. So that obviously means that they can burrow under there, burrow under that corner, um, and burrow under that corner, under there, and under there. So it can become um, a problem. So we put, that's why we put the um, pen and boards there. Um, I do have two types of fleece and um, this is the, like a pink and black um, paw print one and then um, I have a blue and black paw print one so I, I usually use the blue towel um, the blue throw with the um, with a green towel and then I have this pink blanket with a pink towel so yeah I'm planning on just another um, Fleece, and I'm hoping it will be um, Olaf from Frozen. So I think that would look really cool. Um, so if I can just find a place where I can show you the towels. There. 
There's the towel. So it's just a normal bath towel, nothing exciting. And again, we just tuck a little bit under there to make sure that they can't get it. Okay, so we'll start over at this side of the cage. And um, here you have my um, food bowl. So, uh, my food bowl, um, it was a ceramic food bowl. It has genie pit on the side, a little genie pit. Um, I use Excel um, Nuddits now. Um, if you remember before, I did um, used. Hang on a minute, just let me get the bag. These are the types of nuggets I use now. The plain flavour. I used the same brand, but I used it with added black currant. And when they had run out of it at the shop, I thought um, that I'd try this flavour because I heard that it's easier for them to digest. And they love it as well. It is a bitter um, pellet. Um, and I usually fill up to halfway, but if I'm being really careful, I'll measure it with the judge. <laughs> but yeah, usually halfway. And they don't get a re they only get like one refill a day because pellets aren't part of their staple diet, so they can live without pellets. It just some it can sometimes give them an extra boost. So I thought I'd have pellets. And touch into it. Mm, camera too much. <laughs> and then um, we have the food bowl over in this corner, sort of got enough room at the sides so they don't, um, they can still go past it. Um, and then here we have the hay tray. So if we had cubes, we probably would have used a, a big hay rack um, and got rid of the hay tray for extra space. But um, at the moment, we're using a sort of low cat litter tray, so they can still jump over it or stand on it like that. Um, and what we do is we line it with newspaper, and then we put the hair on top. So it's so easy, very quick. Um, so they've just had their hay train um, changed at the moment. So that's all fresh hay they're eating. They usually have it changed once or twice a day because um, when before they were on fleece and they were living outside, they were on hay bedding. So as well as eating, they pooped on hay. So having a tray full of hay um, sort of gives them a more familiar place to do their business. So it's changed quite often because they use it as their toilet most. Although you will occasionally find poops around the cage as well, unfortunately, they're not fully litter trained. Um, and then here in the hay tray, we have a hay cube. So this is so they can have fresh hay um, that hasn't been sort of like pooed on. So that's um, good. Um, also, with a hay cube instead of a hay bat, is that um, they can move it around and the have fun with it a little bit more. Um, here we have our water bottle. So okay, uh, so here we have the bottle. It's a big glass bottle from Katie. And um, it comes with this hook here. And we're sort of using a Velcro to sort of attach it. Because with this bottle, you have to have on the inside of the cage, which I, which I think is really annoying. But you have to have on the inside of the cage. It is a glass bottle, so you do have to sort of be careful that it doesn't fall in anything like the scent when you're changing the water. If you're using a scent, like me, or tap or whatever. But um, you need to make sure it doesn't bash your dent stuff. Um, what I do like about this bottle is that um, it does have a really long shelf. These piggies. It does have a really long spout because with the other um, water bottles, traditionally they're only really short, like up to here. But this allows the guinea pigs to drink much more. Um, 
it also comes with this really cute duck. So this duck is like bright yellow. So you can see the water level from a distance, like from the other end of the room. So I think that's really good. It is quite a big water bottle, and when you first tip it over after we um, refill it, it does drip a little bit. So I think placing it over the um, hay tray was a good idea, so any drips can be caught. Although it doesn't usually drip, which is good. Um, so if we move along the cage, we have this. So this, this is a log bridge. As you can see, they have completely chewed the um, bark off this. That, that used to be brown like these ones, but it's not anymore. Um, they've done the same for the other ones there. I mean, I would leave fine pieces of bark around the cage so, so they don't like sort of eat all of it. Um, this is really good for chewing as well. Plus, it's bendable. So, just one sec. So, you can bend it and have it sort of flat out. Um, so, you can sort of have it flat out. So, you can walk across it. As you can see, she's moving it there. Hello. Um, or you can have it with this bit bent over like that so what's really nice is that you can do it in loads of different shapes so it sort of makes for a more fun toy plus it's chewable and that's what they need if a guinea pig enjoys chewing a wood block then it's a good idea to sort of keep it in because um, my guinea pigs don't chew any of the, of the wood blocks you know that's specially made for chewing they just chew this and the tunnel which we have next so um, this is like a cardboard tube, um, it's often used as a toilet, um, but that that isn't actually weed on, that's just um, paper that they've cut off, um, chewed, sorry. There's the piggies in the middle, hello. Um, and then they have chewed all the way around the end. You can get sort of different designs for this. But when it's moving, it looks quite nice. So, don't mind that, it's just a massive minion. <laughs> but still, it's a big minion. Um, so, yeah, that's quite nice. It's good to chew as well. My PDs aren't a massive fan of growing through tubes. It's probably because they feel quite um, enclosed in them. And um, if you've got two PDs, in a tube but they at the same time they can often fight as well so like having the bridge it's quite nice to be able to um <laughs> it's quite nice to be able to have a tube beach but that's what i place in the um cage oh this is falling down okay so the next one i have you might have noticed is something extra be hung up here under the fleece Again. Oh, it's all fun down there. Just one touch. I'll leave you to stir it stir when I just fix this. Sorry about that. Okay, so here we have an old tea towel that we don't use under the fleece. Um, and this makes a really nice um, den for them. They absolutely love being under here. Um, it is made from an old tea towel, so admittedly it's a bit dirty. But it's clean for them. They don't chew it, surprisingly, because they chew their fleece and the towels, but they don't chew this. So I don't know why they choose to annoy me by chewing the bed in, but who knows. And then, um, so this piece house is really good, like, for a number of ways. You can make it as a den, like that. Um, or you can have it the other way to make a longer, um, a shorter, but, um, 
laundry den and or you could have it hooked up across to make a sort of canopy sort of thing um, or things like that you know so there's lots of different ways you can use tea towels um, that's what they turned to me I often like try and change it what I like about the tea towels as well is that it has two entrances or you know if you have it over, over a corner it has a big hole in the top um, but it, la it allows like fresh air to go through quite freely so they don't get um, too hot in it so that's what I sort of try and do because now we're getting a little bit more hotter here in England um, it's sort of important that you have toys for your piddies um, that have one or more um, two or more um, sort of doors um, or windows if you like because this allows fresh air to go through so um, it also stops them from filling some enclosed if you go to pick them up in the toy they don't feel like you've got a massive monster coming towards you they have more doors to escape from I mean which is annoying for you when you run away but it's less stressful for them to have two way toys so over here we have um, this uh, veg ball so I sort of like you can see I just sort of hook it over um, the toilet plastic here um, now if you worry now if you're wondering what these little beads are they're sort of beads that you find in jewellery I just found them in our um, art box and um, and it back up, all the beads falling off there so I just found some beads and I just put them on the hook and yeah I think it brightens up the cage a little bit more you can adjust the height of this edge ball using this choosing how much um, height you want it to the only thing I don't like about this edge ball it doesn't have a bell everyone I see has a bell a bear but um, I think that looks quite nice. You can say have veg. I don't have veg. You can have your daily veg later. Yes, thank you. Now it has a massive. Oh, it has a, like a massive hole. It well not massive, but it has a hole on the side that you can put your veg through. Um, I don't seriously. I don't have veg. And like, as you can see, the beads don't fall off, so the guinea pigs don't strangle themselves. So I thought that might um, brighten up the cage a little bit more, which it does in a way, I suppose. So um, I usually pick it up over here, but sometimes I change the place, um, so I move it over to that side, for instance. Um, so it's more exciting to find out where the veg is hidden. So that I suppose is one good thing, because it's not really high up in here; it's shorter than the wall. So it's good height for that veg ball. So that is my cage tour at the moment. Um, I will try and search the sort of um, price that I got the cage for and all the toys for. There's a pet. Don't know where that came from. But um, I'll sort of try and um, find where I got them from, like the receipts or something. And I'll tell you in the information bar below. So that's my cage tour. Um, it's not a very exciting cage tour at the moment. But well, um, so I hope you really enjoyed it. This is my first cage tour, so hopefully I'll be making more when something new happens. With these toys, I plan I plan to change the toys every four or five days, or at least once a week, because they do get bored with the same toys and um, this cage just to tell you is four foot by two foot um, and that is the right size for two PDs if they have any smaller than that like a male or female or two males or whatever um, they will get frustrated and they will start to fight so I do plan that you get a three by two for one um, pig um, a two by four 
for two pennies or two by five for six, um, two by five for three and so on. So depending on like if you have th th uh, three females might fit in a um, two by four but two um, three males won't you know so you've sort of got to find out the right cage size but yeah the two piggies any smaller than two by four cage will be very frustrating for them so make sure that they have the right cage size okay everybody so I hope you enjoyed this um, if you want any, if you want any ideas for uh, mm, um, other videos because I need ideas I am planning on doing a sort of series like a housing series but in the series I do a video on what cage to buy and then another video like chapters like what bedding to use and that sort of stuff so I'm planning on doing things like that um so yeah watch this space okay everybody Bye.